Well, I knew that I definitely wanted to write something about the Edwardian era. Um, that was a sort of period that I was really interested in and kind of surprised that there weren't more children's books set in this era because it's so much the sort of heyday of, of classic children's literature. You know, when you think of books like Peter Pan or The Railway Children, you know, those are all absolutely about the Edwardian world. So I was very interested in that. And then I think that um, when I started to research the Edwardian era, I, one of the things that really spoke to me was the history of the department stores and the Edwardian love of shopping, which I think is a real um, interesting connection between the Edwardian era and today. Um, so, you know, the, the shops played a really important part in the London of that day. Um, and when I was sort of reading about it, I got really interested in all the little details um, about the shops, the sorts of things that they sold. Um, but also the characters that were kind of involved in that world. So um, Harry Gordon Selfridge, who was the sort of original founder of Selfridge's department store, was a big point of inspiration for Mr Sinclair in The Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow. Um, so I was very interested in those sort of charismatic people and, um, and the role that they played. And the idea of really like peeping inside a world and getting to see behind the scenes and explore all of the details. 